Meanwhile, we always look forward to a visit from our first <laughs> guest, who's gone from working as a successful Hollywood talent manager to grandchild manager on Meet the Peets, now airing Monday nights at 10 p.m. 9 central right here on Hallmark Channel. Please welcome back to our home, Holly's mom and our very good friend, Dolores Robinson. Welcome back, Dolores. Dolores. It's so good to see it's so you. so good to see you. Great to we see you. We are so happy to have you here, Dolores. Yep. I am so happy to be here. So, Loris, I mean, you're a big deal. Not just a big deal on the show. I just want to give you, you know, give credit where credit is due. Back in the day, Dolores was one of the hottest, if not the hottest talent managers in this town. You had Pierce Brosnan, you had Mariska Hargitay, you had Mark Wahlberg, just to name a few, by the way. And now here you are, the star, and people are stopping you to get photos. How does <laughs> that best. feel? I often wondered if my talent that I used to represent didn't think I was trying to work for me all along. <laughs> I, mean, I just look up now, I wonder how many of them are still working. I am. <laughs> you know? So, Lord, but it's true, now the paparazzi's following you. I, somebody asked me the thing that I, I liked, I learned about myself, about being on camera. Yeah. Here's what I figured out. I like attention. <laughs> it took you this and long to figure that out? Yes. <laughs> and nobody, but everybody likes attention, but nobody admits it. Yeah, I yeah. think you're right. Well, yeah. thank you for admitting it. Yeah. Maybe more of us will. I like attention. I like attention, exactly. too. I, think. I like it's attention. Oh, come on. You're also not shy about sharing your age with people. It's not that I'm not shy about it. I'm getting pretty obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've passed the not shy um, bar. Yeah. It, it, I, I went through, I'm... 80, then I went to 82 and a half, 82 and three quarters, and now I am like 20 days from being 83. Oh, oh look at that, and you look amazing. amazing. I mean, I don't even know what Dolores, to say. you look great. I, 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 it's not that I look great, it's just that I feel so great. I have more energy than most 35 year olds. It's, I, don't ask me where it comes from. You're right, have, you gotta write a book is what you have What's to your do. secret? Oh, I mean, it's coming. What, what, it's, it's coming, Sheena, see what I did? Uh, uh, one of the ways that you're able to stay so fit and so young is by your walk and talks with your daughter, Holly, which we see on the show sometimes. And, and you enjoy that? I have to keep up with that girl. Yeah. I have to keep up with her. You have to her. keep up with that girl. We have, actually have a clip of a walk and talk. Oh. Let's take a look. So, Mom, I'm thinking about doing a podcast with Rodney called Holly's Huddle. Basically sports from a woman's point of view. You mm -hmm. ever heard of Monday morning quarterback? You yes. know how that's like people telling you things all after the fact? Mm -hmm. I well, do I could a lot. be the Monday morning former quarterback's wife. So, if it's Holly's Huddle, where does Rodney come in the middle of Holly's Huddle? Well, I'm the quarterback in this situation, so he's got to be one of my linemen. Can you all work together like that? Rodney is the football player, and she's in charge. Oh, no. Poor Rodney. Now, I say that because you and Rodney operate on different le levels. Rodney's cool and laid back. You ain't. <laughs> <laughs> There's the manager. That. That's, That's the good. manager kicking That's in a true. little bit. And the mom, being completely well, honest. And, the mom. and I'll tell you, last time Holly was here, I told her, I said, I love you, Holly. I love Rodney. I love the kids. But Dolores is the star, let's be clear. Don't tell that girl that. Oh, I'll be, I'll be, I told she'll her. She'll be getting rid of me. They'll and keep no, me off the she show. won't. You're still a very big part of the show, <laughs> even though you have moved to Palm Springs. Yeah. What is it about Palm Springs that you love so much? Oh, my goodness. Well, I realized after I got there and started sitting, I have this patio where I sit and I look at the mountains. And I realized the first book that I ever read was Heidi. Mm. Heidi with the little braids. Oh my God, who lived in the mountains oh, with grandfather gosh, and Peter yes. in the oh, mountains. Yes. I read that book like I was six years old and all I wanted to do was be Heidi. And I never realized, I think that so many things that you do when you're a child carry forth as you're older, but yeah. you don't know it. Right. You, 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 you're not realizing it. Suddenly there I was. And at one point I was traveling around the world by myself found myself in the mountains of Switzerland Whoa. by myself, probably looking for Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 I mean, I think I've had a whole life goal finding Heidi, but those mountains and palm springs surrounding me, I've, it, it looks like that, beautiful. doesn't like Heidi's it's, gonna come over the mountain. It's my rock. And yeah. Yeah. Heidi's deserve up there it. somewhere. She's up there. You deserve it. You work so hard to get where you're going. In fact, to the place, to the point now where you're uh, able to go out on the town in style. And uh, in fact, you've even brought your favorite accessory with you that you like to uh, wear these days. Yeah, well, I think that w once one gets older, yeah. there are things that happen. 
your hair starts to get a little thinner. Yeah, it happens. I, I never want to be that lady that you stand behind in the supermarket and you're looking at her scalp. <laughs> I, I just don't want to be okay. her. And I was getting there. So I brought Edie. 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 I like how it's got a name. It's my mother's name. That's right. Now, Edie was a wig that was made for me. Oh, nice. This, this is such a godsend. People like me have to get over the fact of wigs. We were afraid, we, we were ashamed of wigs. My mother wore a wig. My grand, my, 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 all my aunts wore wigs. Everybody's wearing oh, wigs now. Look at your mom. Uh, that was then. Oh, okay. look at my mom. She's yeah. beautiful. That, that was then. They hid their wigs, by the way. We didn't know it. Nobody ever talked about those wigs. See, there was a shame then in oh. wearing wigs. You look up now, everybody's, everybody's wearing a wig. Yeah. Everybody got a wig. Everybody. And everybody if not, a hair extension. Yeah, and then, and then and here's one that, I mean, was made for me. And it's I can, beautiful. And I, mean, I can it really just, looks incredible. And I will tell you, you know, through the years, you've had some wigs. Oh, I've yeah. had some wigs. Yeah. You have. Oh, oh I've, I've had some play wigs, you know? That's me going to anime That's with amazing. Robinson. And, and I, he, he was a character. That's Holly oh. and me at Julia Roberts' birthday. We were, we, we were the Latoyas. Oh, <laughs> both of you are kids. That's and, hysterical. And that's me and my boy, Billy. And, yeah. and that was on my 80th birthday. And that wasn't a wig. I dyed my hair pink. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, every year for my birthday, I dyed my hair a different color. Oh, Dolores, oh, you are so cutting edge. You're way you ahead are. of your time. You know I, that? I, because I, I, I don't know what my time is. <laughs> See, there's, there's, there's a thing about me that's, that's really not very real about some things. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. I, I know you, you have an affinity for wigs. We've known this through the years. You also have an affinity for, for Heidi. Yeah. So we thought here at Home and Family we would do something for you and combine oh, the two. Oh, there's Heidi! <laughs> you <laughs> found <laughs> Heidi! For your 83rd birthday, oh, you can wear I, this one. I will wear Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Uh, I love the reaction that we got with that, Dad. Look yeah. at this. Even if you don't wear it for real, you got to put her on and give us a picture. That yeah. is, oh, you send us a photo? Oh, without a doubt. Okay. She <laughs> is just too cute. Oh, now that is adorable. And now you can put that on and run over the hills in, in Palm I, Springs. I can go up through the hills on a hike Springs. looking for Heidi. you got to tell us what Holly thinks of that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Dolores, thank, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, you so, so much. much. Okay, you. And you all do not miss an all-new episode of Meet the Pete in its new time slot tonight, Mondays at 10, 9 central, right here on Hallmark Channel.